Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys some updates to the Icicle Miner and my SSF progress. I tried to make a couple of videos before, but every single one of them, the uh, Blight instances were bugged and it's kind of anticlimactic. So I figured I'll just wait till I can get you guys a really good map with uh, Blight. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in red tier maps. Uh, my gear is pretty much still the same. I'm still using this Dumpy Honor Holm. Uh, because I cannot find the Cloak of Defiance for the life of me. I've used I don't know how many hundreds of chance orbs at the moment. Uh, but I've just got Swift Assembly, Icicle Mine, Inspiration, Hypothermia. Uh, gear is pretty much the same for the most part. I did get this belt, which is pretty nice. Still dual wielding at the moment. Uh, and for the passive tree, I'm actually changing it a little bit. I don't know if you want to do this change now. This is something I'm going to test when I get a cloak. But if you see where this dex node is here... Uh, this is not normally here on my tree. I'm basically going to come down here, come into Ranger like this, grab Druidic Rite, go up, dra grab Heart of the Oak, come across, grab the Evasion and Life, um, and then that gives us, oh, and then Primal Spirits. So this gives us 40% flash charges, a ton of mana, a bunch of Evasion scaling, less life and less strength, but I feel it's better for endgame maps because you've got way more flask effect. You Well, you don't get flask effect yet, but you can craft flask effect uh, on your belt which reduces your flash charges which is great because we get flash charges here uh, also just helps later on I'm a big fan of like flask management so it's pretty cool anyway though um, yep Icicle Mine is sitting at 14k unbuffed let's go ahead and run this plaza map that is now a dire slag okay no problem I have been leveling a Pyroclast Mine in case I need to swap later, since I'm pretty sure Pyroclast Mine scaling is just much better for single target than Icicle. But Icicle Mine is still so strong because of the power creep that we're on right now, so I haven't really had a need to switch to uh, Pyroclast yet. Also for our Uber Lab, I went ahead and I grabbed Born of the Shadows. Uh, if you want to play a more offensive approach, it's definitely better to grab, what is it called, Explosives Expert. But you could even actually remove Demolitions Expert for, uh, for it. The interesting thing about Demolition Expert is that you could, basically if you're not using Pyroclast Mine, the increased crit is really nice from the Icicle Mine, but I mean you could easily trade it out and get the what is it? 30% area of effect. I don't know how that scales with Icicle Mine, but it says it's an area. Reduced damage taken from hits. Crit multi against burning enemies. You just need like 1 to 2 fire. 80% uh, crit chance is really good. That makes up for the lack of... Uh, the lack of... Uh, what is it called here? Increased effect of aura. And then you get the 10% penetration all the time. As you can see in red tier maps, the damage is still more than fine. Now, the other thing about doing this respect that I was telling you guys about is that it lowers your maximum life, but increases your maximum mana by a lot. So I like to, I like to play with Mind Over Matter with as much mana as I can get. Even if I only have 40% of damage taken, goes to my mana pool, I'll get like 60% max mana compared to my health. And the reason why is, 
a lot of the times in Path of Exile, when you get one shot, it's not actually getting one shot. It's getting like two tapped consecutively very, very, very quickly. And having a huge mana pool actually allows for you to soak up that hit. Uh, since mana is easier to scale than life, in my opinion, uh, it makes it really nice. The other thing is that the lower your maximum health and the higher your flask effect, the more HP you're going to heal out of your life flask. So if you're, for example, if you're fighting Shaper and you're standing in a degen pool, remember that 40% of that degen still goes to your mana pool. So scaling your mana regen via Arcane Surge and stuff is really, really strong. And having a life flask that has a bunch of charges, because we're scaling, you know, flask charges essentially, uh, makes you have really, really good sustain, even though you're not playing like a flask class. The other thing is, we progressed a bit slow on our Atlas this go around because I was trying to do a method that I ended up... Well, basically, I have this method that I was going to upload to YouTube, but as I was making the method, I realized that it doesn't work anymore. So, I kind of got set back by a day and a half on my Atlas, but that's okay. Because all it did is give me a bunch of low-tier maps and a bunch of currency, and they look the void, dude. Plus one melee. Nice. Alright, let's see what this void gives. I think that there's a chance I could get a Cloak of Defiance from this. I don't know. I don't know if there's a Divination card for a Cloak. There may just be one for Unique Body Armor, but here we go. Okay. Bloodthirsty Eternal Sword. No thanks, dude. Not really interested in you. Can I just augment so I can get rid of this? Okay. You are a gun. Alright then, so that's pretty much going to be it for you guys for now. I'll try to get a red tier blighted map going. Oh yeah, I also found the Rotting Legion. I don't really know where the fuck this popped up from. Uh, we were just doing random maps and I opened the Blight Sys and it popped out 6 link. But I didn't really want to play a summoner right now, so I don't really know. Um, I don't know, it's like kind of question mark. Uh, right now, really, I just want to start punching these high tier bosses with this character. So we're going to be moving uh, towards our middle of the Atlas here. We're not really doing that bad either. Like I said, our map pool for SSF is pretty solid at the moment. Um, you know, it's it's definitely definitely building up. So I'm excited for that. Anyway, though, like I said, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv/pox. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.